All right, back from therapy. It went well. I like her. So I want to talk about therapy later. My experiences um, and what made me seek therapy. So. So here's my therapy story. Excuse my greasy face. I just got out of the shower. Mm. And well, skincare. Okay, so I seeked out a therapist last March of 22. Um, I was experiencing a lot of anxiety. I was experiencing a lot of um, just depression, you know, like some sadness and um, it was more anxiety, but depression was kind of seeping in um, through the anxiety. So I wanted to find somebody who I could talk to. I've never really been open to therapy because, um, to be honest with you, I didn't really think mental health was like, I didn't believe in it too much. I do now. A lot. I truly believe in it now, but back in the day, I just thought it was bullshit, to be honest with you, mm. but I was experiencing a lot of um, anxiety, and I know a lot of it has to do and revolves around COVID, um, because I myself still follow precautions with COVID. I am not around a lot of people. I have a mask on all of the time that I am around anybody, doesn't matter where I'm at. Um, we all follow that rule here in my house. So COVID has destroyed me, to be honest with you. I don't even want to be around people. Um, I never really liked being around people for long periods of time, but I did like being around people sometimes. Now, it's never. Um, so I, I looked for a therapist. I found one um, actually right here in my town. It was very convenient. Um, I started seeing her, I think, the 21st of March of 22. And I've been seeing her, well, I've I seen her all the way up into my last appointment was January 18th of 23. And then I had to let her go. And the reason for that is because as much as we covered in therapy, I really didn't feel like I was getting anywhere with it. I didn't feel like I was learning much. I didn't feel like she was helping in, in a lot of ways. And also she was doing a lot of things that I, I guess at the time really didn't see as red flags, but they were red flags. I see it now. I think it's because I was so desperate to have it work therapy that I ignored a lot of things. So once she looks at her phone too much and it's not to check the time of my appointment it because I could have just gotten there and 10, 15 minutes into the session, she's looking at her phone. I'm like, the fuck is going on here? That's one. And then two, um, there was a session before my last session that I sat down on the couch and she literally had a coloring book. Mm. And she was coloring. She was coloring. I wasn't coloring, but she was coloring. She was coloring the entire fucking hour I was there. I was there for one hour, and she was coloring. And I didn't know what to say about that. I was completely like, it, what the fuck is happening? I felt like I was in an, <laughs> like in another world. Like, this is really happening kind of thing. So as she's coloring, and I'm spilling my fucking guts out, I say to myself, I don't think this is supposed to be happening, but I didn't say anything. And it's very unlike me because I am quite the person that will speak the fuck up when it comes to things like this. I don't just, you know, 
If I have something in my teeth, I'm sorry. I don't just keep my mouth shut because if something's bothering me, I'm going to say it. But for some reason, I didn't say shit. And I was like, okay, well, here's that. And then my last and final session is where it, she just threw me over the fucking edge, right? So I have a, like a lot of fear around COVID and a lot of my anxiety revolves around COVID. Um, and like I said, I don't take my mask off when I'm in public places. The 22 sessions that I was in her office my mask was on. I had an N95 or a K9, KN95 on. And my shit was always on. She didn't have one on. But you know what? That's her choice. I'm not going to tell somebody else what to do. But in a medical setting, in my opinion, her motherfucking ass should have had a mask on. But whatever. To each his own. Um, so, the last session, her... We, we spoke about COVID a lot. And so, her treatment for me would have been exposure therapy and I'm like well what is that and she tries to explain it to me that she wants me to rip my you know take my mask off I'm gonna say rip because that's how I feel she wants me to rip my mask off in the session and be in there with her like 15 minutes at a time we'll do it and then we'll do it for like a half an hour and then we'll have the mask off the whole hour bitch you out your fucking mind you done lost your mind because if you think i'm gonna take my motherfucking mask off i don't know where your happy ass has been i don't know who the fuck you've been around and i'm not taking my fucking mask off in this little ass office with your happy ass that's it threw me over the edge i left there with a really bad taste in my mouth and i told arlo that I just didn't appreciate it. I spoke about it on Instagram and a lot of my friends on Instagram had a lot to say about it and they really did. The way they spoke with what I said, like I then thought to myself, what the fuck? I don't want to stay with this chick. So I was going to go to my find like my next session and actually tell her in person that I did not want to continue uh, therapy with her and I was going to tell her why. But for some fucking reason, she canceled on me in person and wanted to do telehealth. And she didn't know nothing about nothing, right? So I'm like, that's just the world telling me that this shit ain't meant to be. And so then I spoke to the owner of the place. She was very sweet and she, she handled it very well. Um, I wrote a long email. I sent it over. She called me. We hashed shit out. She apologized like a thousand times, which it's not her fault, but I left, I left that, that group. And then I was desperate because I was so used to speaking to somebody and having that, um, that door open for me to, you know, spill my feelings out to somebody because let me tell you, Arlo is the most supportive spouse you will ever know. But when you're speaking to somebody who is not your family or not, you know, your, your husband, your wife, your whoever, it's a whole different type of feeling. Um, and so I was just like, I gotta find my, I gotta find myself a therapist. So I went through all of the people that were in the area, you know, and I couldn't find anybody. They weren't even, they weren't accepting new patients or they weren't accepting our fucking insurance or some bullshit. They weren't accepting shit. So I was really at my wits end and I didn't know what to do because I needed, I needed somebody. And then I finally found somebody and I actually just went to see her yesterday, which was February 7th, right? Today's the eighth, I think, yes. Um, and it was great. Um, I had messaged her before I went to actually see her. I messaged her, I stated why I was going, I needed a therapist. She called me back within like a couple of days and I spoke with her on the phone and she asked me like what's going on and um have I ever been in therapy before and I did tell her that you know I had some quack who didn't work out and um she, we made an appointment and I went yesterday and it was great it was really good um I needed more of of a therapist that was more professional somebody who I know can like, there's like goals, right? There's end goals. Somebody who's going to help me. 
this other chick I was seeing, I just felt like it was, she, she was too fucking comfortable with me, let's be honest. I mean, I know I'm a likable person, but I just feel like she was too comfortable with me. I didn't feel like I was being heard. I didn't feel like she was helping me in any way. I just felt like, sometimes I felt like the session just went around in like a fucking circle. And it didn't really fucking do anything else. Like I left there with my hand up my ass and I'm like, did I even learn anything today? What, what just happened? It was like that kind of a moment. And I'm like, no, this is sucky. Mind you, there were a couple of things that I did take out of that therapy. Uh, those sessions. I learned that I need to spend a lot more time with my wife, like go on a day date because a bitch is always busy in this house between her shitty schedule mm. and then my, my home life and all the things I deal with here. Um, there aren't many times that we make time for ourselves and that is not a good thing. Um, it's important because the two of us are in love with each other. We love each other very much. But making that time and setting aside time for each other and just saying fuck everything else, it's mandatory. So I've learned that. Also, I've learned that because I have a lot of weather anxiety. I don't know if you guys know that. It's very bad, actually. Um, and it's definitely been worse. Um, so I have a lot of weather anxiety when it comes to like severe thunderstorms and anything else. Snow and stuff like that does nothing for me. It's... It's all the other things. It's an electrical storm, it's thunderstorms, and fucking tornado warnings, all that bullshit I can't deal with. And in 2021, that summer, there was a lot of bad weather in this fucking state. We had so many goddamn fucking hurricanes that flew by. Um, Hurricane Ida was horrible. There was a huge tornado in uh, west of us in Jersey here. Um, it was like an EF3, like... That kind of shit normally doesn't go on in Jersey, and I know you can get tornadoes anywhere, but that was a bad summer for me, and my heightened anxiety, my, my anxiety heightened like no other, my weather anxiety, and now I'm kind of scarred because the littlest thunderstorm, my ass is literally rocking back and forth, crying. That's a whole nother thing we're, we're going to be working on. So, like I said, I met this lady yesterday. She was really nice. I went through the whole spiel of everything, which is draining as fuck when you're telling your story. Um, I actually knocked the fuck out last night. I was so exhausted just from telling my story and telling her everything that I've been dealing with and going through. And um, we have a plan, and that makes me feel really good. I need a plan. I need someone to help me cope with my day-to-day, -day, help me deal with all of the things that I can't deal with right now. And that's my therapy story. Um, I'll probably keep you guys updated on here. So I go every two weeks. I feel like I have lettuce in my tooth. I'm sure I do. If you've seen green in my tooth, it's lettuce. I just ate another salad. But I'll probably share a lot of my journey on here as well because I share it on Instagram. Um, so I'm going to share it on here. So if you're interested in following along with that whole situation, Arlo also goes to therapy, by the way. Mm -hmm. She's actually with the group that I was originally with, but it's a, a different therapist and she likes her. But the lady that she's with, She's actually leaving that group and going somewhere else. So Arlo's just following her because she really likes her. She's been having a lot of good um, outcome, like a lot, a great outcome with therapy for her as well. So I'm just really proud of us because it takes a lot to take that step to go forward and know that, you know what, maybe I do need some help and um, maybe I need to talk to someone. So that's, that's my whole situation and I just wanted to share it on here because you know I want you guys to know what's going on and it hasn't been easy I must say and um if you're following over on Instagram you know it hasn't been easy because I am extremely open on there there's really not much that I don't share so 
just wanted to show you guys what's been going on. All right, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to see you tomorrow. I'm going to go edit this, drink my salsa water, make a coffee, and tomorrow's Friday, so I'll probably be vlogging a lot because Arlo's off. We all know I like to vlog more when she's around. Anyway, thanks for listening. And if you are experiencing any kind of anxiety, depression, or anything like that, and you're afraid to go and make that appointment, make it. You will not, you will not be disappointed. It will help. I promise you that. And I've learned that not every therapist fits with you. You just got to find one that does.